Hi everyone, welcome back to the Java class. Let us continue the journey to learn the exceptions in Java programming. In the previous example, what we have done, we have used the try catch block to handle the exceptions in Java code. So what we have done, let me just show you the output of it. Just run this program and you will see what is the output. Here we go, you can see it is showing the value a is equal zero because we have not passed any command line arguments. So it is showing the number of arguments in a variable a is equal zero. Then what you are doing, you are just trying to divide the value 12 divided by zero. So it will show there is an exception. Exception is the arithmetic exception divide by zero. And after that, it will just show after a catch block, a statement which is present after a catch. So that part we have done in the previous session. So here more specifically, you can see inside a catch block, we are just writing the exception class. That is the mother of all the exceptions and can handle all kind of exceptions. But the more to be the more specific way in the output it is showing, it is exactly generating the arithmetic exception, which is due to divide by a number by zero, right? So how to just write it if I will just change this exception to the arithmetic arithmetic exception. So you can see here I have added in place of exception, I have added arithmetic exception. You will save it and you will run it. You will see what is the output. Here we go. You can see there is no change in the output, right? So because we have written the exact class, the specific class, which is just handling that kind of exceptions here, right? So if you will add some more statement inside this program, for example, I will add an array of integer here like is equal. It will contain the element one and two. And after that, I'm just trying to store some value that is at index five that is not exist like hundred, right? So after that, I am trying to assign a value 100 to an array index that is C5. So if you will see in this array, we don't have the index 5. We have only two elements stored in it. So whenever you will run this program, it will show the error, right? So what is the meaning of these compile time, these runtime errors? So Definitely whenever you will run this program, let's see what will be the output, then you will observe it. So here we go, yes, it is showing the same output. Why it is, why it is showing the same output? You have to understand the concept of it. Whenever it will count the value of A is equal zero and it will come to this statement and it will execute this B is equal 12 divide zero. So here in this line number 13, some exception will be occurred. And when some exception will be occurred at some point inside a try block, it will immediately inform to the catch block. Means it will not execute rest of the statements. It will come to the this catch block and this catch block will handle the appropriate exceptions and will display this output. And after handling the pointer will move to the next statement after the catch block and your exception will be handled. So these statement will not be executed, but still in these statements, there is an exceptions. So let me just fix this part first, then we will come to this part. So let me just run it again to set some configuration informations like to set some command line arguments. So let me just pass some command line argument. You will click on the arguments tab. You will pass some command line arguments, then you will click on apply and run. You can see right now in this program, the output is something different. It is showing A is equal one, B is equal 12. And there is another exception, exception in thread main, java.lang array index out of bound exceptions. Index five out of bound for length, right? Two, because we have a length two, of this array and you are assigning the value 100 to at index five that is not present. So now it is generating one more exceptions 
and right now this catch contains this arithmetic exceptions and it is not able to handle that kind of exceptions right so how to it how to just handle that this kind of exceptions so let me just show you why it is showing a is equal 1 b is equal 12 because we have passed one command line arguments so it will just calculate the length of it and it will assign the value 1 inside a variable a then it will display the value of a is 1 and it will just calculate b is equal 12 divide 1 and it will display the value of b is equal 12. Now whenever it will come to this line, so here is okay but whenever you will come in the line number 16, it will show the runtime error means the value 100 will not be able to store in this variable because this index is not exist and you can see clearly inside the line number 16 it is showing the exceptions so how to handle this exception so to handle this exception you can just write one more catch inside it or you you just write this name of the class so you can write like array index out of bound exceptions and you can add some statement inside it let me just show here just wait a moment here you can see we will remove this part just copy this statement and you can display some output here or you, you can display some message array index out of bound right so let us run this program and let's see what is the change in the output of a program just save it and run it you can see what is the output yes it is showing a is equal 1 b is equal 12 and it is showing the output is array index auto bound and it is showing this is the exceptions it is generated which is handled by this catch block so let me just show you overall process how it is working so you can see inside a try block we will add all those statements that may be that that, uh, that contains some errors and there may be a chance to be an error so here we have a problem inside this statement at line number 16 so whenever some exception will be occurred inside a try block it will come to this first catch so inside it it will check yes okay this is a arithmetic exception so this class will not be able to handle this kind of exceptions it will check there is another catch block or not yes we have another catch block so it will check array index out of bound exceptions yes so this is the specific more specific exception class that is used to indicate an array has been accessed with an illegal index or an index that is not present or it is exceeding from an index of an array or exceeding from the size of an array so whenever the exception will occur inside a try block in line number 16 it will come to this catch block after this right and this it will display the output that is array index out of bound and it will display the information of an that exceptions then after it will move to this statement after the catch so this is the way how can you add multiple catch statement so inside a try block there may be multiple exceptions there may be a chance to generate multiple exceptions so for multiple exceptions you can add multiple catch block also or you can add a single catch block and you can put a exception class that can handle all type of exceptions because it is the mother of all the exceptions so arithmetic exceptions and the array index out of bound exception is the child class of an exception class so if you will the important thing during adding multiple catch statements in in a java programs you have to take care of it means your super class must be at the end in the series of multiple catch statement for example let me just show you if you will write one more catch after a try like this catch or inside it you will just write the exception e because this is the super class of all the exceptions like arithmetic and the array index out of bound exceptions so whenever you will write this super class 
before all the all the catch statement so what happened you know some exception will be occurred inside a try block so this catch will handle it when this catch will handle all kind of exceptions so your control will not move to these statements and the compiler will show the error what will be the error means unreachable catch block unreachable catch block for arithmetic it is already handled by the catch block for the exceptions so i told you the exception can handle all type of exceptions and if you will write this exception super class before these catch block so the compiler will show the error that is unreachable because there is no meaning to write these exceptions right so it is better way whenever you would like to add the super class you add after the end of the series of all the catch statements so now compiler will not show any kind of errors and whenever you will run it you will not get any error your exception will be handled nicely in an efficient way so guys i hope you understand the concept how to add multiple catch block inside a java programs corresponding to a try block or you have to remember the super class of the exceptions will come in the series of catch at the end at the end point okay so i hope i hope you understand the part of it in the next session you will learn a more interesting about the exception handling mechanism bye bye for now guys we'll see you in the next class have a great day